Really quick video, I want to show you guys this uh, perpetual motion holder turned into a relay. If anybody has ever researched Ed Leeds Skolnin, that's exactly what this thing is. See that permanent uh, ceramic magnet in the middle? <laughs> that's all it is. It's a double pole, double throw relay. These things are kind of expensive. I'll post a, a picture of the, the case at the end so you guys can get the part number and get one of these if you want. But let me show you a quick rundown on how this thing works. So the Arduino Nano is powered by that USB 5 volts. Uh, the 5 volt signal is uh, sent out through two, uh, two digital output pins to these two opto isolators, which are independently controlling each one of these MPN transistors. If you want to go higher voltage, like 24 volts, I'd recommend uh, um, resistors on the base. But anyway, the, they control, each one of those transistors control one of these coils. It's set right now at three seconds. And if you want to change that, all you have to do, and I'll share this, this code, and it's very easy anyway, but so you don't have to like type it all out. You just download it in my from my description. But uh, if you look at the bottom right here, see how it says uh, delay 3000 on opto isolator one and two. Uh, 1000 is one second. So just figure out how much time you want and just multiply it by seconds by a thousand and type it in there so if anybody has any ideas um, just put it in the comments I read everything so I appreciate anybody's input here's a picture of the uh, the circuit uh, the breadboard circuit and a, a little uh, opto diagram if nobody has really messed with them before that's kind of handy to have so if the idea is to swap two batteries, here is my idea how that's probably possible with this circuit. And how it works is you have two different batteries which, uh, with the negatives wired together. And then um, double pull, double throw has two main contacts. So I labeled them A and B. So A is designated to drive and B is a charge. So in a normally closed state, the way this is wired, this battery is going to be the drive battery. And then whenever it switches, then these battery, oh, sorry, these batteries will get swapped around. But uh, I just thought I'd kind of contribute something. And you guys are welcome to whatever you want to do with it. And if you guys experiment with this and you come up with something awesome, please share it. Send us a link. Me and K Energy is kind of working on this. And uh, thanks for watching.